At this hour, fire crews are still on scene at the River Fire working on full containment. KSBY's Melissa Newman joins us live now from Paso Robles, where forward progress of the fire has been stopped. Melissa? Karina, this fire seemingly took off this afternoon, quickly making its way through what appeared to be miles of dry brush. Now, while fire crews weren't able to save every home, neighbors we spoke to say they're thankful firefighters from across the county were able to come together and save their community. Fire crews put to the test again Monday after a fire quickly moved from the Salinas Riverbed into several Paso Robles neighborhoods. Despite evacuation orders, some decided to stay behind and try to save the homes of their friends and family. Yeah, I was scared, but so much adrenaline at the same time. You know, I just, I've never been in any sort of firefight like that, you know. And this other guy showed up, drove up in a silver car and said, hey, you need some help. And he had a shovel and started digging some dirt. And we were fighting the fire right here on this front. And it was, it was really scary, actually. Once the smoke cleared, some neighbors were able to breathe a sigh of relief over their homes being saved. It's so frightening. I mean, when you see what the fire can do when it blazes through. And in fact, when we first came around the corner there, I saw just the shards remaining of a house, and I was immediately afraid that it was ours. But my husband walked further down and saw that our house is still standing. Others weren't as lucky. The Paso Robles Fire Department says two homes were burned, four others severely damaged. You always think it can't happen to me, but guess what? It can. Now, fire crews are expected to stay on scene throughout the night, continuing to mop up. Now, what's going on behind us now is they're in the process of cutting down a tree and repairing gas lines. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Reporting live in Paso Robles, Melissa Newman, KSBY News. Melissa, thank you. About 120 firefighters were estimated to be on scene this afternoon. pg &E reports more than 300 customers are still without power after several power poles burned in the fire. They expect power to be restored soon.